Plus, palettes and palettes. It's a fun way to learn about fine food and fine art. Our friends from the farm at Fairplex join us live with details. Well, are you hungry yet? Still ahead, fine wine, fine art, and fine food. It's all being brought together in the Palettes and Palettes series. Our friends from the farm at Fairplex join us live with the taste of what to expect. Food inspired by art, a fun opportunity starts tomorrow at the Millard Sheets Art Center. It's called Palettes and Palettes. The farm at Fairplex executive chef David Teague is here to show us how to bring art, food, and wine together. Welcome to both of you, as well as Kristen here. We're, this weekend, we're kicking things off with Austria's Gustav Klimt, aren't we? Absolutely. At Fairplex is the home of the LA County Fair, and we are hosting Palettes and Palettes, where you can come and enjoy food, wine, and art from a particular region in the world. So whether you're a novice or a professional, we want everyone to come and have fun, sample the foods tomorrow. It'll be from Austria, but we're having uh, painters from all over the world featured throughout the year, and it'll be a really fun event for, for anyone who's interested in, in that. And we're watching some of that uh, action happening right behind us here. Um, yes. This is Thomas is here yeah. painting a uh, Klimt art, which is mm -hmm. the feature of tomorrow night's class. He's from Austria. And he's a really famous uh, artist. He's known for his murals and different large-scale art pieces. Right. He was telling me this is the tree. Are you mimicking this right now as well? Uh, using it as yes. inspiration. Inspiration. Yes. Very He's using good. it as inspiration, and it'll be guided while you're there. There's an art instructor guiding you, and right. you can either create the thing or do freeform. So how does art inspire food or vice versa? Well, we have our executive chef, David Teague, here, and I'll turn it over. Um, our partner is Twisted Sage, mm -hmm. and they're going to be providing the food uh, for the class, but they also look to Chef David to provide food from the farm that guests can sample wow. from Austria. And Chef David is making one of my favorite items. So delicious, Chef go. David. Easy to make. They These always look so difficult. Very easy to make. So it's really just butter and flour and a little milk. Um, put a little salt in it. And these are an Austrian version, so they're very thin. They're called plachinkis. And what we're doing is we're making our crepes, and we made a little jam from something called a latici tomato that we grow on our farm, similar to a persimmon. Um, and what we do is we just fold our little crepes here, and we drop a dollop of our latici tomato in here. We can roll it up. Do you want to be the first to try? I wish the folks at home could smell what's going on here. It smells so amazing. Is this ready? Can That's ready it? to go. Have at it. It's always a, always a, an issue here. So it's not overly sweet. It's delicious. Oh, that jam, that jam is very nice. Yeah, thank you. It's so, very nice. So we have a couple of other dishes that we're doing here today. We have a self leash, which is right here, which is smoked pork with a little bread dumpling. And then we make a sauce using kimchi, or excuse me, not kimchi, um, sauerkraut. Mm -hmm. So it's fermented that we grow on our farm and we ferment on our farm. And then we have kespetzel, which is basically a small pasta dough. And we have some uh, Tahitian squash from our farm as well in there. And then this is a very simple dish. This is just a salad. So it's a salad of mostly mustard greens, but what we use is a uh, Styrian pumpkin seed oil. So pumpkin it is seed oil, huh? basically the uh, the seeds are harvested, roasted, and pressed, mm -hmm. and it's a first press of those, and it's a very nutty, delicious flavor. So also for mm -hmm. Palace to Palettes, it's about our wine. So our wine is wine from our competition, so that's the Los Angeles International Wine mm -hmm. and Competition. And what we do is we pair regionalities of uh, the art and the food and the wine all together. Mm -hmm. So for example, we're starting with a, a Grüner Veltliner, which is a very stereotypical Austrian grape. Kind of sweet, too? No, it's not really no? sweet. It's, it's more minerality, okay. uh, dry. We have a Riesling, which is more Austrian and German. That's got a little bit more residual sugar, a little mm -hmm. sweetness to it. And then we just dabble through other things that we feed from our wine competition. So with palettes and palettes, is it food inspiring the art or the art inspiring the food, or does it all just come I together? I think it's a little bit of everything. Wow. But I definitely think it's based in art. And at our Miller Sheets Art Center at Fairplex, that's what we're trying to do. We're trying to tie all those things together. And the people attending, not only can they sample, but they can also do some painting on their own as Correct. well. Correct. And it's a, a lead art class mm -hmm. while you're eating and drinking. And What a fantastic evening. Wow. Well, for more information about palettes and palettes, just go to kcal9.com. We have somebody here sneaking in uh -oh. for a bite. 